Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Kingdom Death Monster. We're now in gear 5, going on the hunt phase for a level 1 antelope, or screaming antelope rather. So, with all that said and done, let's get started. Um, again, it's a 1d8. We're taking Romilia, Rumia, Flandra, and Alice. Alice and uh, Romilia both are tinkers, so hopefully that'll help out. 1d8, 3 got that last time too. Rather consistent. All right, let's see. Screaming Antelope. Uh, hunt events. No, we did not. Grazing field. Acanthus leaves sprout from the crevices in the stone ground. The survivors spend time gathering, uh, gathering and eating the small leaves. Each survivor may heal one hit location of their choice, restoring all injury levels and armor point locations. If any survivor has a bone sickle, you can get a fresh herb. And then we have to do a random hunt event. Also, I need to actually set my... Um, stuff because because that's a thing unless you have one arm god i actually have to look these up uh rumia you have armor in the waist and the head okay uh flandra alice well alice you have one in the feet waist and head it's all spread out now Generally, you don't do this, but I'm doing this for all crazy reasons. Um, and uh, Flandra, you have one in the ha arms and one to the waist. There we go. Okay, now we gotta do the random hunt event. That's the annoying part, is dealing with the random hunt events. 50. 50 50. Gibbet. A crude iron cage swings from the branches of a massive tree as the survivors approach. Let me zoom in a little. There we go. Uh, um, as the survivors approach, a man calls out to them from the cage, pleading to be free. The survivors may pass him by and suffer one brain event damage as the prisoner weeps and pleads. If the survivors choose to free him, the event reveal uh, rolls on the table. Um, so we can potentially take two brain event damage. Um, we can lose a random resource if they had any, or we can get plus one population. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take him. Because really, there's not much we can worry about it. So let's see what happens. 1d10. 4. So what's going to happen is he's going to steal a, re a resource if we had any. But we don't. Prisoner is thankful and follows the survivors until they rest. When they wake, each survivor loses one random resource if they had any. We don't have any resources. We have gear, but not resources. Alright. Next is Rumia. She's going to be handling the next random hunt event. 36. On the trail, the survivors rush forward, feeling their quarry close uh, at hand. Skip the next hunt space. If this move begins the showdown, the survivors ambush their quarry. If any survivor has noisy gear, the survivors do not ambush. Start the showdown normally. Um, yeah, so it says skip the next hunt space, which would actually put us right here, which is an ambush, which means we actually go first, surprisingly enough. Um, so let's go ahead and see about getting everything set up. I mean, going first doesn't matter too much, but it can definitely help. It certainly can't hurt. <laughs> That's for certain. Um, so we're going to start with a million acanthus plants, like we always do. I'm going to go ahead and show this on screen because... That was a really, really short hunt phase. So, uh, next we need to roll 2d21. See what we get. 10 and 6. Okay, uh, ten, or 6 is tall grass. That's awesome. Getting tall grass is always good. So let me add those in. Um, and then um, 10 is a dead monster. Okay, dead monsters. If a dead monster is drawn during the sh during showdown setup, survivors may start the showdown anywhere on the showdown board. Survivors may go first. So now we can set up anywhere. It doesn't have to be on the edge of the board. Um, this particular thing does need to be set up on the um, adjacent to the monster at the very least. But besides that, um, that's great. So now we can position ourselves anywhere, which is good. Um, and you can also get some random resources from this if you scavenge for it. Um, so yeah, a lot of good stuff there. Uh, beyond that, uh, Romilia, how are you doing? Yeah, you're doing okay. 
So yeah, we go first, and we definitely want to take advantage of that. So let's see what we can get, do here. Um, we change the facing any way we want. So we can do something like that. Put the tall grass here. And she can immediately start attacking. If possible. And Rumia will obviously get set up, like, I don't know, right there. So she can, well, she can get set up pretty much anywhere. It doesn't really matter. As long as she can shoot from where she's at. Oh, also, we have our strategist, which means we can have a stone face set up. Doesn't really matter too much, but we can do it. Anyway, um, definitely want Flandre on the attack as well as her. Yeah, I mean, there's not really too much else we can do with this. Um, Flandre can't dash because of the her limitations, so she may end up doing something like this. Just to make sure she can, if if the um, the antelope does run, we need to be ready for it. Um, with that being said, um, how much how much time did that take? Six minutes. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna do a rarity here, and we're gonna go ahead and combine these these videos because six minutes is. Nah, I'll stick to this. Stick to the formula. You guys will probably get two videos this day, so have fun with that. All right. Well, um, there's not. Yeah, there's not much else I can set up. We just got to make sure we loot this body and try to grab as many plants as possible. We always need more plants. Uh, by the way, the dryer acanthus is right now on uh, Rumia. I don't know why, but it is on her. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think that is pretty much it. So I am the depressed Eeyore, and this was uh, Kingdom Death Monster. See you guys in a bit.